Hello beautiful makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. Bellezas, bienvenidas a mi canal. In today's video, I will introduce you to the brand new Sukut 2020 pre-summer collection. And for those of you who don't know the brand Suku, Suku is a Japanese brand that is very famous in Asia and Europe. We don't mention it much in YouTube, I see. And in the United States, I don't know any store that sells Suku. I know it's very famous for the amazing brushes and Lisa Eldridge Little Cheek Blusher Brush. I love it. I love all the brushes, very nice. And I decided to purchase these cosmetics because I hear so many wonderful things and I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try them. Let me start by saying that I purchased them from selfridges.com and it's an online store like some of you know and from the collection i picked one eyeshadow one of the three blushers and four lipsticks i think there's only four colors and the collection i just keep the colorful mascara i think they have an eyeliner and other pieces i decided to skip those without further ado let me share this collection and this collection it's very bright very colorful but feminine i think that it makes me think on sunset like late summer it's a beautiful collection full of bright colors let me start by sharing with you the packaging of these cosmetics it's black very minimalist and modern i like that then we have the eyeshadow that you guys already saw the eyeshadow has four colors and two applicators, really nice brushes. And I think this is real brushes that look like this. Let me show you. We have like two nice brushes, very, very nice. And the sponge applicator, and I'm going to keep them both. Very interesting, the monogram name of the word Suku, it's engraved in eyeshadow. This package, it's completely plastic and it's gold kind of reflected mirror on the back. This has a 12 month shelf life. It's made in Japan. It's 19 ounces, 5.6 grams. And it has more product than a Chanel eyeshadow quad, but less than a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad. These eyeshadows are so buttery. They're very blendable. And I haven't tried them on my eyes, but we have, for instance, the yellow um, cool color here that is very pretty and it has sparkles, but it doesn't, it doesn't fall all over the place. Then we have the orange color that it has a hint of pink. Then we have the cool pink that, please, it's pink, I love it. And of course, the reddish pink with the engraved Suku word on a pen. I think this is a beautiful color story that is absolutely beautiful. The colors, when I test them on my hands, they were very blendable. Now we're gonna test them on my eyes. And I'm gonna start by applying that light pink. And I'm gonna use a Japanese brush this one is Hakuhara brush and the number is G5533. Please allow me to get you closer. All right. And now that I brought you closer and personal, let's continue on and apply that pink cool color. Pink, my favorite color. One of them above my mobile eyelid, right above my crease. And I'm going to bring it all the way here. The colors are like butter, very, very blendable. I'm gonna use a Suku brush, large, this one, just to blend those colors. And since we are creating a very colorful look, we're gonna go into that orangey color with a Hakuhara brush B125 and apply it on my mobile lid but at the beginning, I feel like the colors integrate with each other very 
nicely as you see these colors blend really really pretty and I really really like it wow now with a suku brush I'm gonna go into that reddish pink reddish color and apply it right at the end of my eyelid like on the outer corner and it's so beautiful I think this is going to bring the two colors together and I will keep my eyes open because I have hooded eyes and if I close my eyes and I don't look straight into the mirror my eyeshadow will look funny I'm gonna bring that color right here I'm gonna blend these colors one more time right here at the end and I'm gonna use one of these little tiny brushes that came with it and use that little pink color and go on my bottom lashes it is such a beautiful color the pigmentation of these eyeshadows now I will do the same thing with the reddish color but try to keep that color right at the end of my eyes the other side of the brush a ah, great brush and I'm gonna go up 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 like a martini glass always up we don't want to go down ever Gravity is doing the rest for us I'll apply a little bit more on this eye excellent brushes excellent I will use a Wayne Go 05 brush and go into that yellow color and apply oops a little bit too much that in the inner corner of my eyes and bring the color down a little bit for light and I haven't experimented any fallout yet honestly excellent excellent quality I will use the same yellow color on the brow bone of my eyebrows because we want to lift our eyebrows I use the same color above my lips and we're going to blend those colors and I am back you didn't miss much I only completed my eyes with a little bit of eyeliner a pencil from Tom Ford and a Chanel mascara now let's move to the blusher and we have color 10 Yusu Moya it comes in this package it's also plastic it has a 12 month life and 26 ounces 7.5 grams it's a very sleek thin packaging and I thought it was going to be a thicker package but it's not and I ordered once I think it was Surat Beauty, Surat Beauty excuse me that has this type of blushers two colors you can swirl or you can apply this one on this darker color on the apples of your cheeks and then the lighter color for a highlighter it comes with a nice brush but I'm going to use a brush for this application that will be my method of application let me start by going on the darkest side because it's a little bit dark let's see how pigmented this is let's see if it shows on my skin this is like a it's like a peach color with hints of pinks and it's absolutely beautiful you can see the color payoff on my skin and I am in love I really like the colors I'm going to use the lighter shade in the middle for the bridge of my nose and the highest parts of my cheeks just swinging here you can blend all the colors if you wish but here you can see it keeps my skin a little bit of a of a shine of a glow making it look healthy 
and I really like it. You can apply it as much as you like for intensity. I think I'm going really bright. As you guys know, I like to apply it a little bit on my forehead so the whole look can come together. And I am very happy with this blush. I am pleasantly surprised with its performance. And we're gonna move to lipsticks. The four shades I picked, this, the lipstick packages feels very luxurious with the lipsticks. It's a little bit heavy. I really like the packaging of these lipsticks. These are the Vibrant Rich lipsticks and they are matte. But to me, they feel like a satin formula, very rich. The method of application, they recommend to apply it directly to your lips because the color is very rich, which I agree. Um, I really, really like it. And the packaging, it's beautiful, black with gold, feels a little bit pretty, very nice. And the shades are, I picked are shade 104, 105, 106, 107. Here with shade uh, 107, it's a pink nude, beautiful, very rich color, and very nice. Let's test it on my lips and see how it looks. No scent. Very nice. I just love this color. It's beautiful. It feels so creamy and nice on the lips very very comfortable and pigment it's very emollient i like it color 104 it's a peachy warm tone that is really nice on the skin i think it's a color that complements any skin tone from the fairest to the deepest and perfect for the summer because it has like a nude tone that is not very bright on your on your skin but also gives you life and this summer vibe without looking on your face. It's not very bright, it's very, very feminine. Color 106 is a beautiful, cool, vibrant pink that is beautiful for deep color skins. I think it makes you look very bright, very happy, and it goes perfect with this eye look, with this eyeshadow very nice it's very opaque and the color payoff with only one swatch is wonderful 105 a deep berry color cool undertone it's beautiful and i'm really truly surprised that they picked this color for the summer however it's perfect for this palette all the colors match beautifully And after trying all of these lipsticks makeup lovers, this shade is my favorite. I just love this whole collection. It's beautiful. It's vibrant, but very feminine. Pink. Pink is a very feminine color, very beautiful. One of my favorite colors. More pink, please. More pink. I love it. But these colors are so opaque. They're so rich. Really one swipe and you get the color pay off. It doesn't dry my lips and they feel very creamy on my lips. Excellent. And I love the range of shades because if you don't like dark shades like this one, then you can get a nude, you can get a little bit of color with a peachy shade. There's alternatives for all of us. I'm a nude color person, but I also enjoy a dark color as well. And this color, I absolutely love. The eyeshadow palette, I love the color story. It makes me think of a late summer afternoon. It's just beautiful, very pigmented, very easy to blend and work with. No fallout on my face. I just love it. Very, very easy to follow. The colors integrated very easily on my eyes. I just love it. I hope you guys can pick it. And the blush, I think that I wasn't very happy with the packaging at the beginning because it was very thin, but what matters is what is inside. And it has a great mirror inside. 
as well as the eyeshadow. Forgive me, I didn't mention it. And it's very nice. It's very sleek, thin, easy to storage in your makeup bag. And the colors are very blendable. The pigmentation, one to 10, 10. I love the color. And they have a color range for all of us. Also, a little fun fact, and is that there's a color lipstick for each eyeshadow pen on the palette. Like this color, the berry color, it's perfect for the reddish color on the eyeshadow palette. I think that's very nice. And you can use only one color or two colors. It's perfect for the summer, very playful and easy to use. If you don't want to use and mix all the colors, which this is very intense for me. I don't, this is not my everyday makeup, honestly. Uh, you can only use one color and you will look all right. It will be beautiful. Makeup lovers, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And for those of you who don't know about Suku, I hope this was a good introduction and this video was informative if you're thinking about um, giving it a try after this video. I hope so, highly recommend this brand. Also a special thanks to a beautiful subscriber that she, I was humble and so, so happy. She was so kind to translate all of the shades names to English. Thank you so much for that. I will link all the information, all of the products on the description box for your convenience and leave me your comments and questions down below. I would love to hear your questions and thoughts about this collection. And please subscribe if you have not and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload videos like this. This is a luxury makeup channel. We love luxury makeup. And if you do, you are at the right place. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.